So uh, the pandemic is defined by there being a novel virus or novel disease uh, that kills susceptible people. So you see excess deaths um, and that it's spreading around the world. So I think we saw that in spring. I think we did have an epidemic in spring. I think we um, saw the end of that, the sort of end of May, beginning of June. And then from then on, we can expect to see endemic COVID every winter. And it could well be that COVID will kind of take over the ecological space, as it were, in our nasopharynx that's been occupied by other coronaviruses in the past, um, or even by other, other viruses. And I guess we'll find out in the future whether or not that has happened. Most of the censorship comes, as you say, is, is self-censorship. And I think that comes largely because you need to understand a lot. You need to really be sure of yourself. If you're going to go against a grain, you have to be absolutely certain before you speak out. And to be absolutely certain, you have to come at it from every angle. And that takes a hell of a lot of work. It, it really was hours and hours of me being up at five in the morning and working and working, working on it before I had the confidence to say, this isn't right. There's something here that doesn't add up because you know, you know that you'll be attacked for saying it. So you need to have the basics covered first. Now, people do not have time to be doing that. So even if they're incredibly suspicious, to be confident enough to speak out takes a bit more. And then even if they're confident enough in themselves that they understand it, if they speak out, they will be horribly attacked. I've been horribly attacked. I've been reported repeatedly to the Royal College of Pathologists and to the GMC. And of course, I mean, the ultimate, the ultimate problem is if I was wrong and this was in the middle of a pandemic, then, you know, I can be accused of, of people dying. Right. So you have to be right. And, and you have to be really, really careful. So, of course, people don't speak out. Science isn't science unless we're constantly questioning every aspect of it. That's what science is and, and reviewing it and testing it. That's, you know, otherwise it's, it's not science. But you can have a certain amount of, you know, we, it's always a journey towards the truth, isn't it? So we get to a point where you have enough data to start steering away from one hypothesis to another. Um, you know, I think, I think the kind of... Um, implication that there's some kind of um, deliberate attempt to not listen is is isn't totally fair I think that there's this the, the way that we work as humans is we have rational thought and we can argue rationally but we can be overcome by emotion and th that sort of thinking system is separate and at the moment people are overcome by fear and they have been throughout and that includes the politicians and it includes the people on stage and I think they probably wind each other up quite a lot but they're in this bubble of fear and when you are driven by an emotion in that way it's very very hard to be able to accept rational argument and to have your emotions questioned I mean that's what it ultimately comes down to isn't it we're saying that they're behaving they're not listening because of fear and irrationality I mean, we are living through mass hysteria and it's really, really frightening. And it's quite frightening to think about how we get out of it. You know, at what point does a hysteria become rational thinking again? Mm -hmm. At what point does it become so hysterical that they're willing to do more and more crazy stuff? You know, that's I just don't know where we're headed people are starting to question what the hell's going on. And that when people start to question and read around it and start to understand it, they don't go back to being deluded. You know, you can't. You, it's a one-way street, which is helpful. Um, I do think, you know, we could get easily into a situation where we vaccinated the vulnerable and we're still getting loads of cases and we're still getting a constant plateau of deaths because we're testing everybody through the hospital door. Um, and that will be horrible won't it because then what so then what because they've got to do more they've got to do more despite no proof of any of it helping so I, I just I mean I don't think we're going to get out of this until they stop PCR testing it's the only way out of it now to also be optimistic there is a growing number of court cases internationally that are taking governments to court over the PCR testing so they you know there is an end in sight in that direction